On today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 best places to live in the beautiful state of Georgia. Now most of the online lists are offering you the 10 best suburbs of Atlanta because they're just looking at incomes and other statistics. In other words, they're not giving you a real good idea. Since most of the money and good statistics are in the Atlanta suburbs, doesn't give the rest of the places in Georgia a chance to even land on these online lists. So I'm going to give you guys my personal list of the top 10 best places to live in the state of Georgia. And these are not file photos. Everything that you're looking at is places that I personally went to and recorded these videos. I've been very familiarized with the state of Georgia. We've been all over the state. I'm going to bring you guys 10 places that I think you should consider looking into if you're moving to Georgia. Number one is a small place called St. Mary's. This is in the extreme southeast corner of the state, right outside of Jacksonville, Florida. It's a beautiful coastal community, perfect place to retire along the Georgia Atlantic coast, right near Cumberland Island. The seafood here, restaurants and culture, laid back, chill vibes are a great place to consider retirement and is much more affordable than many of the places further along the Florida coast. Properties along the St. Mary's River and adjacent water are gonna give you access to some incredible redfish fishing and access to the Atlantic. Beautiful community with great vibes. Definitely one of the best places in Georgia, especially if you're looking to retire and wanna be in the small coast of Georgia. Moving on to number two, if you're a regular working class person like myself and just need a normal town that's affordable and close to work and other opportunities, Dalton, Georgia is definitely a place you should consider. It is the most Hispanic place in the entire state with about 40% of the population or more being of Latino origin. There's stores, there's beautiful mountains, there's access to Atlanta and Chattanooga. You're close to Alabama. You're just close to everything you would want to do if you're into nature and outdoor activities. This is a beautiful little town where everybody's friendly. There's lots of opportunity and it may not be the fanciest place to live in the entire state of Georgia, but if you're just a normal working class person and just need a town that's normal, that feels cozy and that you can really just feel at home, Dalton, Georgia may definitely be the place for you. Moving on to number three in the northern section of the state is an area known as Cummings. Now this area we're going to call Lake Lanier because it covers Gainesville, Lake Lanier, and a huge area that just kind of wraps around this beautiful lake known as Lake Lanier. The water is beautiful. It's kind of hilly terrain. There's lots of outdoor activities to do here as well. You got the mountains, you got the lake, you're not too far from Atlanta. So if you want to do a lot of different outdoor activities and live in a nice suburban area that's really not suburban because Atlanta spreads so far in so many directions, then this may be the place for you. Lake Lanier is beautiful, it's affordable. A few pockets have a lot of diversity if you're looking for that. So it's not as boring as living in a country place. It's kind of like you get the country, you get the suburbs, you get the city, you get the nature, you get access to like the best of everything. Number four, Athens, Georgia. If you're trying to get your education on or you're just looking to live in a very progressive place where everything is brand new, colleges, campuses, nice fancy type of bistro type restaurants, everything a millennial or yuppie would want is situated right here in Athens, Georgia. The terrain around the city is hilly and beautiful. The area is fast and growing. There's lots of things to do if you're a young person. It's a very clean and safe city for the most part. A lot of growth, a lot of opportunity, a great place for a young person to get started in the northeast side of Georgia. You're not too far from Greenville, South Carolina. This area is growing. You're not too far from Atlanta. You have a lot of things near you that are good, fun. 
also not far from the mountains of northeast Georgia. It's perfectly situated in a place you would probably want to be. Number five. Now, if you're looking for a small town on the south side of Atlanta, is Sonoya. This is a small little town just south of Fayetteville where Rick Ross lives. This area is just a beautiful little town. It's tiny, it really is. So if you want to be on the outskirts of South Atlanta, but you don't want to be quite in the urban mess, you're just looking for a small little place where you can call home, be in a small town, but still not be far from Atlanta, then this is definitely it. It has a very clean, safe, wholesome feel, something you're not going to find if you move deeper into the metropolitan area, especially on the southern side of Atlanta. The area is beautiful, it's cozy, the trees are beautiful, the landscape is nice and hilly, the buildings are nice and pretty, everything about this place is perfect. So if you're looking for a small town right outside of Atlanta, number six, Sewanee. This is a suburban part of Atlanta on the far northeast side of the city. It is a growing place where shopping centers, homes, communities, roads, trees, everything is brand spanking new. And this is footage you guys haven't seen yet because I haven't released this video yet. So this is your first time seeing this place on our channel. It's a nice little suburban part of Atlanta with beautiful tree-lined avenues, lots of buildings going in. It's just the type of place where a young millennial person can feel right at home. There's a large Asian population. This part of Atlanta is very diverse, so if you like going out for dinner and trying new things, there's no shortage of ethnic foods and activities that are fun right outside of Atlanta. Great place. Moving on to number seven. Are you a snob and want to live around other snobby people in a small town in the mountains? Blairsville, Georgia could be the place for you. There's like two Cuban restaurants the last time that I was here. It's a nice place where a lot of people from South Florida have moved to looking for that perfect mountain life where they can flick off strangers just like they used to in South Florida. The Blue Ridge Mountains, this region of Georgia, is known for mountain homes. It is definitely not a part of Georgia that was not going to make this list. The area is beautiful, and like I said, the only thing I didn't really like about this area is all the snobby people that live here and all of the whiny comments I had to deal with on the videos of this region. So it's definitely very different than the southern part of the state. But if you're looking for a southern type of town, number eight, Madison, Georgia, may be the place for you. This place combines the elegance of North Georgia with the country feels of South Georgia and gives you something right in the middle where it's a very country yet very nice and clean. It's like the best of South Georgia and the best of North Georgia all in one place. Real estate values here are a little bit high for a small town, but it's understandable when you see how nice the place is, you understand why it's so desirable. People in the comment section are always saying things like, why you talk bad about my town? Why don't talk bad about towns like this that are nice? If your town sucks, it's falling apart, and the people are rude, then of course it's going to be hard to find something nice to say about your crappy town. But places like Madison, Georgia, you can say nice things about them because it's really nice. Moving on to number 9, Newnan, Georgia. This beautiful town was hit by a tornado about 10 days after we recorded this video. It is the home of country music star Alan Jackson. It's right on the Alabama-Georgia border. It is a place that is not only important for the history of country music, but it's also a place that's beautiful, charming, and very quiet and calm. Some people even make a 40-minute commute to the Kia plant that's further south close to the Alabama border so they can live in a nice, decent place and still have that Kia job without having to live, you know, near Alabama. So it's a great place with a lot of opportunity, 
right outside of Atlanta. Hey, what can you say about a place that's this nice and this pretty? Some people would call it boring, but nonetheless, it's still nice. Moving on to number 10, Rome, Georgia, in the far northwest corner of the state. It's a city on mountains that some people would say it's so pretty it almost looks like Rome. Not sure what the crap is wrong with those people. It's a nice place. It's not bad. It's got some good vibes. And it's in a region that's growing where there's a lot of jobs and opportunity. It's beautiful. Nice rolling hills. Nice little downtown. The town really has character. Some really show vibes. It's, again, like Dalton, it's not a fancy town. It's just a normal place for normal people. So if you're considering moving to Georgia and you're not exactly a big wig with a lot of money... You can end up in Rome. It's not a bad place to end up. And there it is, guys. Those are the top 10 places that I would recommend if you're moving to Georgia. And there's one town that didn't make the list, but I'm going to throw it at you guys either way as a bonus. Because it's a place that I also like a lot in Georgia. An honorable mention to Cartersville, Georgia. A little bit north of Atlanta, you have the Red Top Mountain with a beautiful lake. It's a park I love going to. When I get a chance to crawl through this part of a Georgia. And there it is. I really wanted to stay away from the suburbs of Atlanta that are more immediate to the city. Because these types of places always make these lists. And it's like you're supposed to showcase the entire state when you do a video like that. But when you just look at statistics and say, well, all these places have the highest income. So here you go. 10 places and they're all 15 minutes away from each other. Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I wanted to make a more comprehensive list. I give you guys some options for retirement, some options if you're just looking for a normal place, some options if you're looking to be on a lake, some options if you got a little bit of money, some options if you don't. A very, very list that can help a lot of different people that makes more sense than some of the other lists that are on the internet. And it is true that the northern part of the state really dominates this list. North Georgia is by far better than South Georgia. They could almost be two different states of Atlanta being the capital of the North and Columbus or Macon, unfortunately the capital of the South. Georgia has two totally different things going on. The northern part of the state with its mountains and diversity and the southern part of the state has really struggled with a lot of poverty. It just isn't exactly the type of place you want to move to if you're looking for prosperity. So North Georgia and South Georgia are very different places. But the economical hardships and loss of population that's plagued southern Georgia has really kept most of the southern part of the state off this list. There's a few places that I almost considered putting on this list like Pavo or Lakeland. If you're looking for a small town crap, I would have even thrown Moultrie in there because they are kind of starting to get better, but they just couldn't make the list. They're not good enough. And even St. Mary's, Georgia is nice right along the coast. But you go a little bit further into Camden County and you have a whole can of worms that you open with being in the Deep South. So there it is. That is the 10 best places you can move to in Georgia with an extra bonus, Cartersville. Do you agree with this list? Is there anything that I missed that you think maybe next time we do a list we should look into? And yes, I did kind of overlook most of the Atlanta suburbs that are the best the ones that i did include are really far away they're not like right in the urban hub so there it is i hope you guys like this video jose rodriguez from southern life checking out i hope you liked my video